Way back in The Sims 3, we had this career where you could run a home daycare, and it was like my favorite thing to do. I always had my Sims in this job. And looking back on that, I don't really know what was wrong with me. Like, why was I putting myself through raising more toddlers? But basically, other Sims would bring you their kids and you'd just take care of them during the day. You'd have all these toddlers running around, like, everywhere. I was gonna say it was great, but it, it wasn't great. I don't know why I liked it so much, but it really was, like, my favorite career in The Sims 3. And I was really hoping that we would get some sort of daycare career in The Sims 4 when Generations came out, and we didn't. And ever since then, I've just been thinking a lot about daycare and like how badly I wish we had it. And now I kind of want to try and build a daycare lot in the game. I feel like I've done a lot of kid-focused things like this that have all the kids skill building items and kids toys, but I don't very often build stuff like this for toddlers, and now we have infants too. So I kind of just want to make what's essentially a playroom almost, but very focused on toddlers and infants. We don't really have anywhere in this game that you can bring your little ones, so I feel like this lot might be good for that. And there's a ton of stuff like this, the ball pit, like when else can we use this, you know? So that is my goal today, to build some sort of like daycare space using a lot of the toddler and infant items. I feel like I should also clarify that I don't have kids. I don't know what a daycare is like in real life, okay? I've not been to one of those since I was a child, <laughs> so I don't really know. This isn't gonna be realistic. It's, it's it's just gonna be what is useful in The Sims 4. Oh, and I also thought that we could maybe put like a splash pad or something in the back too. I am gonna go all out with this. I think platforms are gonna be our friend here on this one. I feel like it can be pretty simple on the exterior. I'm not really sure how big I want it to be either. So let's think about this. I'm guessing that this will be the front door, so your Sims will kind of walk in right here. We could probably put like some sort of little desk. I'm definitely gonna switch the color, so don't worry about this too much, <laughs> but there could be like a front desk right here and maybe there could be like a little baby gate or something right here and that's how you get in. I don't really know how to split this up because I feel like I kind of want to have a sleeping area like some sort of space with some beds and cribs and stuff. Also should we have like some sort of staff room kind of thing for all the poor sims that have to take care of these toddlers or do we not need that because there isn't actually any staff because it's the sims 4 and daycares aren't real. Also what kind of lot is this? Am I gonna set it as like a park? I don't really want to have a chess table but we will have like some outdoor stuff. We're gonna have outdoor playground equipment. I don't know. Okay, here's kind of what I've got. I think that this will be the entrance. I wanna have all of this area just be like open play space. This will be the sleeping room, so we'll put like some cribs and beds. And then I'll have two bathrooms, one that just has like an adult toilet and a sink, so it's quite small. And then in this one, this bigger one, I'm thinking I'll put like a bathtub and a changing table, like all the, you know, necessary things for babies in here. Should we make this into like a specific specific area for infants and then have the rest be for toddlers or should we just let it be a free-for-all and like put stuff everywhere? I don't know. What do you think about that roof line? I think that's pretty simple but in a good way. We do have like a little toddler fence that we can use. I don't know how much of this I want to like really embrace, you know? I think that this could make for some kind of cute decor even if we don't use the toddler fence as like the main fence. It might be kind of cute as like, I don't know, landscaping accent? Maybe that's too much. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was an idea, but it might be a bad idea. Why do I feel like this lot location sucks too? I don't know. We can really try to make it interesting, okay? It's gonna be so nice. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm gonna try so hard. What sort of fence would be better? Should we do like a, I don't know, a taller one so the kids don't escape? Probably, right? I think it's just like this taller fence combined with this nightmarish little yellow thing. They're not really working together. Let's say that. How about this situation for windows? Because in the front, we don't need to have a lot of windows. This is a bathroom and this is like the sleeping room, but this way there's still a lot of like bright light in the main areas. I gotta be honest, I am extremely tempted to use this flooring everywhere. Like extremely tempted <laughs> to use this flooring. I think I'm gonna do it. Maybe I could do regular carpet in the sleeping area and then we could do like a really fun tile. When else do we get to use tile like this? Actually, I say that, but I use this tile a lot. <laughs> I, I do actually use this tile pretty often. Oh, I really, really want to use this carpet. Oh, this is dangerous. I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. Can I use this one? Look, I know, I know that it's a lot, okay? I've got eyes, I can see it. Maybe I should just do something normal. But like, how fun would it be if we had something more exciting? This is a lot of like colors. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Or there could be like regular linoleum in the entrance. Honestly, that's not like very squishy for the babies though. I was gonna say linoleum kind of 
checks out. Like that would make sense for, you know, when they pee on the floor, but. Oh, we need like a real door into the bedroom too, so the kids can sleep without having to worry about all of this. I know that we have so many little decals. Like this one's obviously very pet themed, but I'm wondering if any of these little decals from Cats and Dogs might work. I was gonna say you could like so easily use these, but that is a stethoscope, so maybe not. <laughs> it's not a doctor's office. It could be Tooth Fairy themed. No, Tragic Clown themed? I don't think I can bring myself to put this in here. I mean, well, I could bring myself to put this in here. Maybe I will. It actually kind of matches. Maybe this one could work. I like the yellow and the pink. I think you can see what we're going for. Now I just gotta worry about like, you know, do I want to use this? <laughs> I know I had joked about using this, but do I really want to use it? In white, this is such a cute little picket fence though, isn't it? Like that's honestly adorable. Okay, I know that you guys make fun of me for always using blue, but isn't this blue brick actually kind of good? The lighting on this lot isn't very good, so I'm kind of struggling to see if I like this or not, but I think this is kind of cute. I like the blue and yellow. We could do like a glass roof or something. What do you think about this? I do think that makes the like roof of the building more interesting, but is it kind of random? It is a little bit random, but sometimes random is fun. Look how fun these benches are. There's like a bunch of painted versions. I feel like we should definitely use both of these out here. Oh my gosh, I forgot I need a kitchen. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Okay, you know what? New concept, forget the stupid babies. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can play in the whole area. What if over here, it's baby gated off so that the kids are safe, but what if over here we put like some counters and a fridge and then like some little baby tables and high chairs and stuff and they can eat over here. How did I forget about that? Okay, well, I was thinking that this little area could be like the splash pad section. I kind of want this whole thing to be on like a little bit of, I don't know, concrete or something. Just because to me that kind of makes more sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, these things are like way bigger than I thought they were. I've built a splash pad in my own backyard, but to be honest, I haven't used them like, you know, that much yet. <laughs> so this is a new one for me. I do think that this adds to the back though. I think that this is kind of cute. It doesn't need to be huge. Like even just this is probably enough for the kids to play with. And then I've been doing some kind of simple landscaping with the bushes. This sign will fit in the back again too. So that's kind of cute. I like how it's adding in the pink accents with these flowers. Cause we have like the pink in the front too. Do you think I could use this? as just just like a little, I don't know. Is that kind of cute? I can't tell if it's like totally random or not. I think I like the blue, yellow, and pink. Let's embrace it with like some pink flowers. Oh my God, toddler stuff has this. I totally forgot about this. We should use this for sure. Do you think they have balloons at the daycare? Oh, no, those don't fit. Do they have picnic tables at the daycare? We could probably have one picnic table at the daycare. Oh, it's cute. Why do I never use this? I'm serious. I've never seen that swatch before. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen that. I'm gonna use it. Oh, look how cute this little rug is. We can use that in here. That might actually be kind of nice to like break up the floor because the floor is a lot. So <laughs> that might be a nice touch. Okay, well the default swatch of this is pretty good. So we can use that blue and yellow back there. Ooh. <laughs> this thing is so ugly. I really want to use it, but it's so bad. I also really want to use this, but I have literally not a clue where to put it. Do they get into it from the sides? Like the kids will climb up the stairs on the side to get into it? I guess I have to put it there. Maybe, um, oh, I don't know. This is harder than I thought it would be. I can never find a purpose for this thing. I hate this thing. I want to like this thing. I just can't. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't. Even here in this like entirely toddler dedicated building, I still cannot find a purpose for it. What do you guys think about this little table? These chairs seem like safe and climbable for the kids. Maybe we could just do a fridge and not have a stove. Do you think it would be unsafe if we had a stove? Cause I am kind of leaning towards just a fridge. This way you could still make like a, I don't know, fruit salad or something. So you can cook if you need to, but like you don't need to cook cook. Okay, I'm gonna put, I think, two high chairs in here. I feel like this wall is probably pretty good for that. The kids can't get into these cabinets, right? So it's not a problem. I think storage is good. I also decorated the bathrooms. This one is like the adult bathroom, so it has a real toilet and stuff. And then in this one, I put the changing table. I put some lockers, because that's kind of the pretend staff space. <laughs> and there's like some baby clutter on the sink. And then in here, I got a couple toddler potties and then a bathtub so you can like change and bathe 
leave the kids here. While I was doing that, I also found a ton of little clutter things that I wanted to use, and I'm realizing that this space isn't actually that big. So <laughs> I need to figure out how to lay all of this out. I wanna put this sign on here, but annoyingly, I can't put it any lower than this. So it's gonna be kind of at the top. I could do it small and then I could center it. But when it's that small, it looks kind of weird. Oh, this tent. Oh my God. How is this space so small? <laughs> I felt like we made a giant room, but now that I'm actually trying to fill it, it does not feel very giant. I really wanna use this though. This is like such a useful item because your toddlers get skills up so fast in it. I'm kind of working on the bedroom area now and I'm struggling with this because obviously we probably don't need this much stuff. Like you might not need three cribs and three beds. I'm just thinking that if you came here with your Sims, it's not impossible that like the kids are gonna need to take a nap. So it'd be nice to have space for them to do that. I'm just kind of struggling now with like how to decorate it. How do we make this room feel cozy, but like not too much. I guess some little pillows in the corner might help. And then like what color scheme are we doing? I don't know, there's just a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions as I'm decorating this. Do we do another bookshelf? I do kind of like the bookshelf. <laughs> I just don't know with this. I think we can make it be kind of dark in here as well. Oh, you know what? Now I'm wondering, do we do no ceiling light? No, that's that's scary. I don't like it. <laughs> Never mind. It was too dark. Oh, we're missing outside patio chairs. Oh God. <laughs> okay. We're also missing a chess table because somebody decided to class this lot as a park. I could probably put the chess table over here. It's like out of the way, you know, kind of hide it back there or something. Oh no. Oh, oh, this is a terrible idea. I shouldn't be given ideas like this. <laughs> I should not be given opportunities like this. Wait, Get Famous has like a rainbow though. Oh no. Why didn't I make the whole building with like this in mind? I can't just like go back and add it in, can I? I mean, I can. Can there be no windows in the front? Why do they need windows? I'm asking that question honestly, because like this is kind of cute. We could do tiny windows on this wall. Okay, so over here I have obviously the ball pit and then kind of like the infant area almost. I'm trying to do a lot of different wall colors. Um, Am I gonna regret that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to think about ways that we can incorporate more color and like cute art and stuff like that. I feel like this build is a good chance for us to be a little bit silly. So I'm kind of trying to take that and run with it. Ooh, what about that dollhouse? <laughs> That's the toddler stuff one. I never use this dollhouse because to be honest, I don't like it that much, but maybe it's a good idea. This is kind of annoying because I want to put a computer here, but like I feel as though it doesn't really fit that well. <laughs> maybe I could keep it. That's fine. And then the parents can check in at this chair or something. Is it weird for me to put like the diaper clutter? Maybe. <laughs> That's kind of a random thing to add over here. There's a couple cute little baby things like this little basket might kind of make sense to be honest. We can give them a pencil cut. Uh, okay, I think that that kind of works out. I'm actually kind of obsessed with all this play area. I think it'd be kind of fun to visit. Now we gotta worry about the outside because I have not been doing that and we should. I keep jumping around like all over the place. I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest, I did just download an update and then record a whole video about it in the middle of this video. So I don't really remember what I last said, but um, let's jump back into this. <laughs> oh, what if we did like one of these little signs instead? Do you think that would be better? I can use the pink this way too. So it kind of like ties it all together. Oh, if we do it this way, I can put the logo on the front desk too. Like, look how cute that is. The daycare can be dog themed. There's a lot of like random going on outside. I'll acknowledge that. It is a lot. It's kind of weird. This thing counts as an outside patio chair and not as a bench. Isn't that weird? I want you all to know that I really am trying. I really want to have this item. I, it's just so big. I don't know if I can do it. How should we arrange all of this? Like, should I put the slide there? Maybe there could be another tree back here. I do love this rainbow. It's so cute. This thing counts as a patio table, but I still need more outside chairs. Oh, we can use this. Maybe I could put another bench by the splash pad. I think some terrain paint is really gonna help us out here. It's gonna make everything look a lot more finished. Yeah, I already am liking this so much better just with like a little tiny bit of terrain paint around. Maybe Maybe I could put another infant play mat out here so the little ones can still play. <laughs> I don't know. And then is there any other like outdoor toy type stuff that we want? I keep thinking like, oh, we could do a swing set or something, but it's for toddlers. So they don't need that. They can't use it. Oh, you know what? I hate to say it, but we should get a Wabbit tablet. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a couple or at least one Wabbit tablet by the front so that your Sims can use one. Oh, you know what? This one's like the full thing. It's got everything attached to it. Maybe 
I'll just go for it. I mean, like, why not, right? It definitely is a little bit tight. It's a, it's a tight fit, but this has all the good stuff. So your Sims can use all of it. And what else are we gonna put in this backyard? Like, we don't need anything else back here. So we might as well just embrace all the good stuff. Another thought that I'm having that I'm kind of worried about is where the toddlers are gonna eat. Cause I put this whole big table, but the toddlers don't sit at tables. So should I have like instead put, oh, has that always been orange? It's supposed to be blue. So should I instead like make a pretend dining table situation that the toddlers can like, I don't know, this is weird, isn't it? They'll sit in a chair, like a lounge chair to eat. I do like how this table looks though, to be honest. So maybe we could put some lounge chairs outside for them. Oh, this one's like a tire. That kind of feels playgroundy. We did put some pillows in the bedroom area, but maybe I'll put another one over here because they might be more likely to sit there. Is a grill a terrible idea? I kind of want to have a grill so the adults can cook something. I kind of like it. <laughs> I think I might use it. Oh my gosh, I should have gotten a pool. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Do you think that it would be unsafe for us to add a pool or is it kind of fun? Because I kind of love the idea of one of those. Okay, I'm getting like an outdoor toy box that I can put over here with a couple toys around it so that some Sims can play over here. And then hopefully there's enough space for you to actually do tummy time with an infant out here. That is a problem that I encounter a lot when I'm trying to do tummy time because I fill my builds too much <laughs> and there's nowhere to do it. I like never have any space in the house when I'm trying to do it. So hopefully that'll work for us. Oh, look at this mural. We could totally use that over here too. I'm kind of just looking through build mode for any like last minute little touches I might want to add. What are these? I know they're just like little stumps, but what are they? And what am I supposed to do with them? I don't think I like it. I did put some little lights though, and I kind of like the little lights, but I think we could probably call it here. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I might hide the chess table a little bit more though, because I don't really like the chess table. I don't really want to have the chess table. Maybe I could put it in the back. I guess, I mean, the adults need something to do, right? So it's not horrible that we have one, although it is kind of random that we have one. All right there. How about that? Is it done? I really like it. I know it's kind of a lot on the inside, but I'm honestly really happy with how it turned out. I think the front is kind of cute. I love the freezer bunny and the rainbow. I, I just think it's adorable. Maybe we could add in like the child's play law trait. That'll mean the kids learn faster. Does that apply to toddlers as well? I never actually know the answer to that question. Maybe you know. <laughs> Does it work? I'm sticking it on the gallery in case you want to download it. Hopefully you like this build. I think it was kind of fun. It's making me really long for The Sims 3. I have been playing a lot of Sims 3 on my Twitch channel though. Well, I say a lot. I, I play a lot of The Sims 4 on Twitch. I've been playing The Sims 3 like once a week, <laughs> but if you want to come by and watch that, I can link my Twitch streams down below. My name's just Lil Simsy on Twitch. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll do a tour really quickly. So we have a little entrance right here. Over here, we've got some more toys and play area for the kids. I made sure to include the Dream Home Decorator tent so you can max skills really fast. There's some more like toy boxes and toys on the floor. This area's got some more space for infants. We got a ball pit. Down here in this hallway, we've got the bathroom for the adults, the bathroom for the babies. So they've got like, you know, a sink, a changing table. We've got the tub and some toilets. To the left, we've got the bedroom. So there's, oh, that's glitched. There's plenty of cribs and toddler beds so you can bring Sims here to nap if you need to. Or more likely you would bring Sims here to play and then they would nap when they got too tired because infants have to sleep constantly. <laughs> uh, back here, we've got a little kitchen. So there's some counter space. We've got some high chairs. There's a table. I did put a trash can in here. And then outside we have like some more little toys, chest table for the adults because the place is classed as a park. We have a huge toddler playground equipment. There's like a little tent with some more seating. We have the little toddler pool from Seasons. And then we have a splash pad. So you kind of have all the things that the toddlers can do in this lot. I tried not to use too many packs, but I realized that I did use quite a few packs. Yeah, that's a lot of packs. Um, most importantly though, I think growing together toddler stuff and parenthood were the like biggest uses. I had a lot of cats and dogs decor. This rainbow and the freezer bunny are from Get Famous. And then there's like some random things like the season's pool. I used one plant from high school years. I used one column from Get Together. So a lot of those little things, it'll still function without, but like the main stuff is from growing together and toddler stuff, obviously. But I think on that note, I will probably end this video right here. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I love this. It's making me want to like make a family so I could come play with it. It's making me wish that we had a real daycare career, but anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. 
Oh my goodness, why didn't they give us a daycare career? I want one so bad. I'll probably regret saying that if we ever get one, because I'll probably hate it and it's gonna be so stressful, but I want it so bad. 